In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to take four titles and three videos and make a very interesting introduction video. I did this to illustrate a teaching point in one of my tutorials, and several people who saw that said, I liked your illustration. Can you show us step by step how you did that? We're going to show you an example of how, what this looks like, and then we'll show you the technique in this and the following tutorial on how to create this yourself. First thing I've done is to have taken a music track, which you see in my media room, and I've dropped it down on my very bottom track, number seven in this case. Now we're going to use a color board on track one. In the most recent version of PowerDirector, it's hard to find the color board. What you need to do is get into the media room and then click on the blue arrow that points to the right, and then you have an option called color boards. I'm going to drag down to the bottom one, that's my white, and I'll put that on my top track. That will be my background. So I'll just drag out the time so it makes sure it covers everything. And that's my color board options. So I'm going to go back to my media content. We'll be back there in a moment. What I want to do before that is work on my titles. I'm going to use four titles. So I'll click on the title room. And in my title room, I'm going to go to a subset of the titles. Now, in my copy of PowerDirector, I have a subset called Motion Graphics. If you're a 365 subscriber, good news is you've got these as well. So I'm going to click on that subset. You may notice that several of the icons have little red hearts on them. I'd like to explain that. You can set a tag on a clip. It can be a video clip or audio clip and sometimes that's helpful in identifying things you want to use. All you need to do is right click on the icon and then choose add to. In this case all I have is a category called my favorites. I could set up more if I wanted to. And I'll click on that and now I have a red heart on this particular option. Now three of these that I'm using already are in my favorites. They are marked that way. Motion Graphics 006 is one that we'll use. I'll drag and put that on track two. And then below that we're going to use motion graphics number one six and then motion graphics number one seven. So those are three of my four titles. Then I'm going to click on the down arrow and we'll go back to text only. I'll take my generic default text and put that on as my fourth title. The next step I'd like to show you is how to modify these titles that come in this package. So I'm going to double click and get into my title designer. And here I'm working with my motion graphics title. Immediately I see I have an issue because I can't see some of the titles. They're white and they're on a white background. So first thing I'll do is simply change the color. I'll click on this one to my color selector. I'll turn that to a maroon and that's the word make. Your videos is also white. Let's take that and turn that into a brown. And we'll click down arrow to the by cyber link. That one's also white. We'll turn that to orange. We can also change the font family a little bit more about it. Uh, we're not going to do that for the sake of time, but let's go through these. Now when you're working in a title like this where all you can do is customize it. One thing to keep in mind is that usually these are in some kind of sequence. The first one is make your videos with PowerDirector by Cyberlink. So make is the first one that's animated. I'm going to drag over the first title and change the word to join. And then we'll put the down arrow and instead of your videos we're going to change that text simply to the word the, then we'll move to the third part of the title that says with PowerDirector by default. 
and we're going to use skilled trades. And then we'll move to the fourth part by Cyberlink and simply call that one Great Opportunities. And then let's see what happens when we play this segment. Okay, that would seem to work. I'll click on OK. I'm going to do part of the next one just to show you the process again because there's a few other features about editing these kinds of titles you might be interested in. So on the second title, we're going to change this to Learn Essential Skills from the Best. So once again, we'll go to them in order. We have Make Your Videos. We'll have Learn. Instead of With, we'll use Essential Skills. And then the last one will simply be from the best. Now you notice here it's got on two separate lines, but you don't have to do that. You can use as many lines as will fit in that particular preset. So let's play this one and see what it looks like. Okay, that's functional. We like that. So we'll click on OK. I'll proceed to edit the next one and then get back to you. I'm going to play the third title so that you can see what that's like when it's properly edited. Now the other thing I want to change about these titles besides the content is the location. I'll go back to the first title. We don't want it in the center of the screen, so I'm going to change the proportion of it. I'm going to move it into the left quadrant. Click on OK. I'll take the second title. Now the second title I want in the upper right quadrant, so I'll double click on that to get into my title designer a second time. And we'll simply move that, it's about the right size, put it in the second quadrant. My third title I'm going to want in the bottom. So we'll take that and move it down here, and we can actually enlarge it in this case. So now I have my three titles that are going to appear. I'll click on OK. The next one we'll, we'll treat as a normal title. So I'm going to double click on that, get in my title designer. And what I want to do is immediately change the font so I can see this. And instead of my title, we'll simply call this Enroll Now. And in this case, we want it in the bottom half. It's going to replace a video in the bottom half. I'll go to animation and I want some in animation on this particular one. We'll go on the trans up option. Our animation is alphabetical and now it's transing up so that one's set. Now I want to add an additional title. An easy way to do that is click on the T to the upper left of the preview screen. That will give me another title. We'll simply call this one the name of the school. I will move this and change the font. And I'd like to change the animation, so we'll go a different animation for this as well. In this case, we're going to do one that comes in from the right, Blur Right. That looks pretty good. And click on OK. So now we have all our titles arranged. The next thing is to work on bringing in our videos and modifying them. So we'll do that in the second part of this step-by-step -step training. Mm -hmm. 